Welcome back. This is the MansionPoker.com. Poker Dome Challenge. We've only lost one player after all this time. And we are down to five players now, and it is Dale Rada, who is our chip leader, as he has been most of the evening here. 102,000. Amy Anderson playing well at 76,000. But Rada is a guy who uh, just started playing poker not terribly long ago. He started a year ago. More of a cricket player and also played a little Aussie Rules football. Pop. is going to push all in with an A6 here. And I don't see how he's going to get called here. Call. Well, Anderson will call him with a 9 8. And actually, she's in a coin flip situation, a situation you love to be with, with 9 8 suited. She does have him covered. Trying to get Bortmus eliminated. To Jack doesn't do much for either player. Six outs for Anderson. Nines and eights. There's an ace. That will seal the deal for Bortmus. Wow. So both Wright and Bortmus have gone all in on two separate occasions when they've been short stacked. And each has doubled up. The call of the chemo. Yeah. Chemo right back in it. Chemo, we should point out, not, not at all a medical reference, but rather the name James in Hawaiian, as we mentioned earlier. So he's right back in it now, 69,000. Just in that hand, he went from last to second. Fold. Now it's Tanner who's going to have to make a move sooner rather than later. And Wright's going to be given an early Christmas present here Boy, is he? in the big blind. With that Queen 10. That'll get his chip count up also. Wright says he's playing for his daughter, Mackenzie. He says, if I don't win this, I probably shouldn't go home. <laughs> Vote. Not a lot going on here. Whoever shows an interest in this pot's going to win it. That may be right. I'd like to see Wright raise here, not based on his cards, but based on the player to his left. He is so tight. Raise minimum draw now. What's up? I don't see Bortmus making this call. As tight as he plays, he's just going to let it go. Nice little raise here by Wright. Wow. Wow. All of a sudden, huh? Look what he sensed here. Very slight edge to Bortmus. Bortmus is taking what we know as a flyer. And Wright catches a pair, and so does Bortmus. Uh-oh. Well, this is the sort of flop that Bortmus called the raise to hit. Let's see if he can follow through and put the rest of his chips in there. Wright's going to be bold, in. and Bortmus is going to go all in. Wow, does that force Wright's hand? Now, here's a guy who's been conservative all night long. He has been conservative all night long. He decides to take a flyer with the queen four. It comes in. Now Wright is put in a heck of a predicament. He can't really beat anything, and he wisely lets it go. Wow, what a hand for Bortmus. A bold hand after, as we said, playing so conservatively the rest of this tournament. And just like that, Remember, I believe it was only two hands ago. He was short stacked. Now he's our chip leader. Yeah. That's poker, baby. Yeah, it is. That is that is tournament poker. When the blinds keep going up, it's anybody's game. You just got to put yourself in a position to get lucky and win at the end. Every one of our players at one time or another has gone all in in this competition, with the exception of Tanner, who now goes all in. Ooh. Wow. And so does Wright. Oh, wow. <laughs> Anderson made a, an interesting call here. Taking it down deep here. A lot of pros won't make this call. You have an all-in in front of you. Yes, you do have an ace high. Most pros won't call that all-in raise without ace 10 or better. Because let's say you do call with an ace six like this, you're mainly in a coin flip situation. Wright has just caught a pair of jacks. The only thing that can beat him now is a king. Oh. Oh. oh, wow, as advertised. He's a jack or an ace. He 
doesn't get does it. Does not get it. Wow. Look at that guy. What a king on the turn. Truly amazing yeah. man. So Gordon Wright is still alive. This man, Kevin Tanner, has tripled up in that hand. And Amy Anderson could only look on and say, what yeah. happened? A tremendous turn of events here, and it just happened all of a sudden. Michael, how much is it? Ten? Pot. Do it to me again, aren't you? Anderson is all in, as you can see. I'm all in. Wow, we have a double again, all in. Here we go again. And they're looking at a pretty darn good hand. Yeah, well, Bortmus is a three to one favorite against the, the two bullets. hands combined. Show me the bullets. Oh, you got love cards, please. Nobody's got an overcard on him. Wow. Pickle. There's a little pickle. Oh, oh, there's two How do you pair. like that? Wow, and and Wright has flopped an open-ended straight draw, so either an eight or a king will help him. And it is a ten. Now, either a queen or a nine will give Bortmus the whole pot. It's an ace. Anderson wins the pot. Bortmus, though, is still going to make some chips on this hand. And the real loser is Gord Wright, because he will be eliminated from this hand now. And for all the world, it looked like Darren Bortmus going in with a pair of kings was going to come out best. Well, he didn't come out best, but this guy came out worst. There was no question about that. So Gord Wright will head back to Barry, Ontario. He uh, will take that walk that nobody wants to make. Are you ready to be part of the most exhilarating and breathtaking poker series ever? Every week, six lucky players are flown to Las Vegas to compete inside the Poker Dome. And we'd love to welcome you to the game. Log on to MansionPoker.com, and you can earn a shot at $1 million. Well, Gord Wright is uh, our second player to be eliminated.